Okay, in this help file section, I'm uh, doing a quick tutorial for um, across from Marty, who's um, trying to rotate a PNG file for a small flash banner. He wants to make it rotate over 360 degrees. Uh, well, okay, there are a few problems that we get with this because um, Flash will try to flip things back the other way which is probably the problem he's having. I would, depending on what you want to use it for, I would first of all turn it into a movie clip that way it will run within itself but if you need to put it into the main scene then the principle is exactly the same. Um, okay here we go, so I'm going to import my PNG file to the stage, Control R um, this is a rotate. I've done it with a little arm sticking out so you can see the rotation. It's PNG so it's got a clear background. I would say if you can try and use um, GIF files but just because of the file size but you might need something underneath that you can see. You could also try GIF files which can save um, a transparent alpha. Take up a lot less, lot less room. So GIFs but um, here we go, PNG anyway, which PNG is good because you can do them at 24 bit, which is full color. So let's start rotating it. So we've got it here. If you look in the transform, if it's not open, I'll just close it. If you go to Windows and then you go down to Transform, also Control T, you'll see this little box come up here. Now at the moment, my rotation's in the zero position, so that's cool. And I'm going to make this rotate around 12, 12 frames. So I click my 12 frames, press F5 to insert the frames in there. Then I right click and add a motion tween and then I set that. So at the 6 mark, which is there, I want to put a keyframe in there and I want to rotate it in here to 180. Now let's look at it so far. So here we go, it's spinning around. Also notice that it spins around this little point here which is centered. You can double click it and then move move these points but uh, we're not going to, we're just going to leave it centered. If you need me to do a short video on showing you how to move the, the center points then uh, send, me, send me another email, Marty. So okay, so we got that. At the end point I'm actually going to make it 11, not, fra not 12 because I don't want it to end up in that position because what will happen if I do is that it will go around here and then it will go back and it will go there and it will go back it won't go travel around the circle because you haven't put it in there so 360 degrees let's take it one degree out of that so I've put a keyframe in here come back to here again and make it 359 make it 0.9 and then click enter and there you go that's a 0.9 so here we go that's good now remove this end frame remove tween remove frame sorry so that's working nicely okay I'm gonna make another layer at the top I just want it to repeat itself so I'm gonna put a quick keyframe in there, go to windows, go to actions bring it down here so you can see it actions in here, down here, go to go to one and play that's alright, so the go to command, go to one and play let's put the little thing in there, frame number, everything sorted so that's it, that's basically it you can manually, by the way, you could manually use a transform tool and twist it around, but in this box gives you a lot more control. So you want nice fluid movements going around. So basically what will happen is it will keep going round, round, just repeating, it'll get to there and it'll go back to number one and it'll keep repeating. So I'll export this out, just demo it to you. Uh, just call it uh, rotation. Place the ones there. Okay, and now I'm going to just open that up. 
So there we have it. Rotating forever. So that was a nice easy question. Like those. Okay.